Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, we're going to talk about a variable declaration in PyScript. The variables are the identifiers that hold values of your code that you use inside your PyScript code. And they must be declared in your code in the beginning or at any stage in your code before they're used. So whenever you used an identifier, you have to define it and assign it a value first. Okay, and after that, you can use it later in your code. So there is a specific syntax that you need to follow in order to declare your variable. And we're gonna go through that syntax in this video. So first of all, this is the syntax that you need to follow in order to declare the variable. Here you can see that this is the declaration mode. First of all, we give it the declaration mode, okay? And there are different types of declaration mode, which we are gonna go through in our videos. And then there's the type, or like what type of variable, then identifier equal to sign, which is assignment operator, then expression, and then structure. So first, let me explain this line. What does this mean? So here we can see that this means R, this straight line means R, and the parts enclosed in the square brackets can appear zero or one time. Okay, so you need to remember this if because you'll be using this structure or this format later in your code. So first of all, before assigning or while assigning or declaring a variable, what you need to do is the uh, first you need to declare what type of declaration mode you want to use. Okay, and the this is the declaration mode is the variables declaration mode. It can either be a variable where or variable IP or nothing. Okay, so this can appear in your code at uh, like one or zero time you can define a variable without declaring its mode as well this is optional you can say then after that after a declaration mode you need to assign or give the type of variable and this also depends upon your code so here you can see that this can also be inside uh, in your code one or zero time okay it is optional and the type is optional as in almost all pine variables declaration and then after that this is important this is the variable name or the identifier name that you assign to your variable okay and in the examples i'm going to show you this as a, i'm going to show you all the scenarios uh, using all this format as well so here after that identifier name we give it assignment operator and then after that there's expression or the structure now expression can be literal a variable an expression or a functional call okay because when you're assigning an identifier a value you can give it any value and it can depend upon either you want to give it a number an integer a string or any function call that of the functions that are available in PyScript. so after that this one here after the expression you can also assign a structure to a variable and that structure can be a loop okay it can be a conditional inside the loops we have the for loop the while loop and it can also be a switch statement in which the according like uh, the assignment operator gets assigns a value depending upon certain conditions and it switches the value in between so after that this is the structure that you need to follow while declaring the variable or identifier and then after that we have the format for assignment of a tuple tuple declaration is when in a lot of functions in or a lot of built-in functions there are multiple values that the function for produces okay and we can assign those values using a tuple let's say if we take an example of Bollinger Bands function it gives us three values okay the upper band the lower band and the middle band now in order to use that function and assign each value separately we use the tuple and in that case the tuple declaration is first we give the tuple declaration or the name after that we give it a function call or a structure call okay and those function and structure calls are similar because uh, the structure can be if for while or switch and the function call can any be any function that is available in PyScript. now let's go through the examples of this structure and uh, let me show you how you can assign or declare a variable so first example here is that we're giving it a simple identifier name okay and here you can see that this is bull color and we're assigning it a color dot lime expression so this is a identifier name here 
and then this is an expression here clear dot line so we're not assigning it any declaration mode or any type okay and we're exp uh, assigning an, an, an expression to it and similar is the case here we are assigning it an integer now here we can we're assigning it this len function or len identifier and input function which takes the input from the user and here in order to assign the input we have uh, different arguments that we use inside this function so here we're giving it a function call now this is the case in which we are defining the type of identifier as you can see here that this is first we have defined that this identifier f is going to be a float okay or a decimal value and then after defining it we gave this f a value of 10.5 so we first defined it and now whenever we are using this later in our code the PyScript will already know that f identifier is a float type so it categorizes it and will assign the float values to it whenever we use it later in the code okay and it gives a bit of clarity to PyScript to understand what we are trying to or what values we are trying to use with different identifiers after that here we have the close rounded to tick and then we're using math or dot round to tick minimum tick and then we're uh, giving it an argument of close now again we're assigning it an x function call okay or expression and then here where uh, we are using the identifier close rounded to tick now in this case here the plot color we are using a structure and that structure is if so we're checking if the close is greater than open that is if the candle is bullish then we want to assign this plot color a uh, color green else we want to plot it a color red because the other case would be the candle is bearish and we want to give this plot color a red color so this is how you can use the variable declaration and in our next video we're going to talk about the tuple declaration i hope you guys like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them also don't forget to subscribe and like this video see you guys in the next video thank you